Good morning, you're listening to FloridaLA.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm in Aiken, South Carolina at Shaw Industries Carpet Fiber Plant, and I'm with Benjamin Liepert, Executive Vice President of Residential, and David Morgan, Executive Vice President of Operations. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Thanks for being here. Doing, doing great, Kemp. Thanks for having us. This is an impressive facility. We'll get to that, David, in just a minute. Let's start with you, Benjamin. How's business? It's been a challenging year and on the back of a challenging year last year, but I think there's some fundamentals that are they're starting to look more positive and there are pockets in our business that are doing well. So I think especially retail and retail in general continues to be a challenge and that's mostly about the consumer and how the consumer feels right now. Uh, but our single family builder business, our multifamily business, uh, doing pretty well, all things considered. We're focused on the, the controllables, the things that we can control and the market's gonna do what it's gonna do, but we're optimistic, I would say cautiously optimistic that we're, we're coming to the tail of this cycle. So we know, as we've done our annual report, that in 23, the business overall was down 10%, and the residential replacement business was down probably 15 or 16%. So what, what are we seeing so far this year? Yeah, I would say high single digits, generally down year over year. And honestly, you know, we're in some pockets, we're trailing the market, and we're focused on you know, what that means and how we get back and get focused there. And I think that's all about our customer, getting focused on supporting our customer in a big way. Uh-huh. So tell me on a day-to-day basis what you've been focused on. Yeah, it's been a busy year. I've been here seven months now. A lot to learn. I think it starts with that. And humble enough to know I've got a lot to learn about this business and about this industry and about our customers. And so that's job one. Um, and then job two is really supporting our team and bringing our team closer together around a lot of new operating rhythms. And so we are aggressively pursuing new innovation and design operating rhythms. And I say that because I'm a firm believer that innovation is about process. And to create sustainable innovation and speed to market, it's about setting up processes that, that enable that. And what a great example of being here in Aiken uh, at our newest factory to enable those things. So that's a big one. We're also focused on supporting our customers in a more deeply engaged way. And that starts with our associates in the field and our support of our associates. Uh, and then I think getting to know me. And I think this industry so has a foundation of relationships and that's important to our customers and that's important to me and to our team. So it's important that I spend as much time as I possibly can with our customers to build that trust. Like you said, you're new. We did a focus on leadership with you earlier this year. You came from the appliance business. So this is a whole new area. You've just recently been honing in on focusing your sales force structure. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I, what we heard from our customers, I think it starts with just asking the question, how are we doing? Are there opportunities for improvement? And what we universally heard from many of our customers is it's very complex. We have a lot of people calling on them day to day. They're busy. The small business owners running their business don't have a lot of time to dedicate three separate calls or four separate calls to a single shawl rep. And so one thing that we've been focused on is how do we simplify that process? And from talking to our customers, each of them have different ambitions on what they want their business to be now and in the future. And so I think we need to adapt our approach. And so what we've done is we essentially moved to a very simple two seller model in retail, and that is around the hard surface and around the soft surface. And now what we can do with our brands and our products is put the right product and the right brand in the hands of our customers so that they can sell it to their customer, to the consumer. Uh, and so far the, the feedback has been really, really positive. Uh, and so works that, that just happened, so that's very new and that's, we're gonna be working through that and making that very efficient as we move forward. Okay, change is difficult, isn't it? It's not fun, you know, but I think it's inevitable, and I think we have to embrace that. In true Shaw fashion, we do that with dignity and respect, and both to our customer and our employees as we go through that process. Um, but I think it is also important to, to recognize what made us successful today might not necessarily be what makes us successful tomorrow or the next day. And so we're thinking about that as well. How do we make sure that our, our business is future-proof or adapting to the evolving world? And I think since the pandemic started, that's the one thing we are seeing, right, is this the speed of of change and the speed of adaptation required to keep pace. All right, so we're just talking to the new guy, and then now we're talking to David Morgan, who's been how many years at Shaw? A little over 40. (laughs) You've been in manufacturing and Shaw Industries for 40 years, right? Yes, it's been been, uh, quite a run, had a lot of opportunities and great places to work. It's a lot of different experiences and, and grew with the company. Got to experience manufacturing, supply chain, and back into operations leadership now. So we're at your new sandbox, your new toy chest here, and just some rough numbers. You've just basically doubled the size of this Aiken facility yarn plant. We're in South Carolina, but just about 20 miles from the Georgia state line. And this facility is, I just toured it, walked through it, amazing. It's got robots. Uh, It's a lot of the monotonous employee type functions that had 
to do with extrusion and twisting and heat setting are now done by computers and robots. And so the people who are working here, and by I might add, you have not eliminated jobs, you've added 300 jobs here, but the people who are working here can focus on the process, right? That's exactly true. We really believe in this community. We believe in this team here, and that's why we invested in Aiken. It's allowed us to bring the newest technology and configure our footprint to meet the needs of the marketplace of the future. As Ben brings in information from the marketplace and develops products, then we're able to produce those here at this facility and move those through our organization, our supply chain. You made mention of the work done here. It is truly uniquely different from what you would typically find in an extrusion and twist heat set facility. It takes a lot of the physical labor off of the process and allows associates to engage the machine in a more technical way and a more operator way that really just causes them to enjoy their work. You, you, you got to meet a couple of those. It's changed their life in a lot of ways. And we find that we now have created a place where people can come to work and create a career and grow in their development and stay with us. And that gives us stability that feeds back in our ability to serve the market. So we're very proud of that. I got to just add to that. I was asking a question about uh, who's running these robots and learning that you're taking these employees that had uh, more textile type roles and you're working with the local schools and you're actually teaching your own employees to run these ro- and manage and, and keep these things running, right? That's correct. It's a project we call Ignite, and we've taken great Shaw Associates that want to learn and grow into different careers, and we've invested in them and and partnered with our local community colleges and developed skill sets in them. They come back in, and they're now mechanics, electricians, and automation specialists. You'll see them out there doing tuning the, the robots and intervening when there's a problem because there's always things to do on the shop floor. And like you said, we've added professionals here and we've added to our team of over 300 since we've uh, started this expansion. So it's really good for the community and it's great for this team here. Tell me why it makes sense to make all of this yarn about an hour and a half from where you're going to tuft it into carpet. It's because of the people. The team and the community, it is a great organization of tremendous Shaw Associates that that have a can-do attitude. That connects with serving our customer. When our people become engaged in what they do each and every day, and this team does, and the community is so supportive, we know it's the right place to expand. Mm -hmm. I need to add, you know, we do our May issue every year, and Shaw Industries is by a billion and a half dollars the largest producer of carpet in the world. So, I mean, you kind of know what you're doing, right? Well, it, it does require to be to be that large. You have to have some diversification. And, and also, being in the multiple communities that we're in, we treat each one of them as our community. But we also gain with diversification there and mitigating risk. So that's the reason a lot of companies have locations that aren't necessarily right next to each other. And when will this facility be totally operational? Main equipment will be in and operational this year. The automation will continue deployment through next year as we expand through the operation. But you saw a lot of it today. A lot of it's in place today and we're very proud of what's doing it. It's really raised our bar on what we think the art of the possible is and it'll keep us curious with our other facilities as time goes on. Anybody else in the world making carpet this way? None. None. This is a one of a kind. You, You won't find this anywhere else in the world. All right, guys, thanks for spending time with us. Again, been talking to Benjamin Liebert and David Morgan with Shaw Industries here at the Aiken, South Carolina facility, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloridaLeague.net.